This is the first visit and um, it's just a process of understanding. Sayed Orlando. Salam. Safir al Yunusaf. How long have you lived here? Since 2011. The reason they left is that there wasn't any safety there. His brother went out to bring bread and he was uh, killed on the streets. He's 13 and eight. And they're not getting, so they haven't had school, real schooling for two years. It will take him to, two JD a day to pay for transportation, which he, they cannot afford, so they haven't been in any schooling then. <laughs> the, the school locally to the house that they're, that they're renting is, is full. The second school and is, is so far away that it costs, in terms of what they can afford, far beyond their means. I'm quite shocked at, um, at the situation that this particular family has found themselves in. We are currently on our way to the child centre, the protective place, um, where they do drama and have classes, where Esmail has been going from, from 9 till 12 every day, so we're going to go and see. <laughs> As an actor, you constantly put yourself in, a, in, in the shoes of a character and they're experiencing things in life. So you can see in a very basic level how that would help these kids to, to connect and relate to others. They've seen um, a lot more than any child should see. They've experienced a lot more than any child should experience. And what that does to their brain, to their psyche, to their social skills. It's something that I don't suppose until a few years we'll really have a, a sense of. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. What phrase should I learn? Anna. Anna? A hot book. A hot book. Means I love you. <laughs> These kids have um, overcome so much just to be alive and in this place. A year from now, what are they going to be doing? Two years from now, what are they going to be doing? Five years from now, how are they going to be feeling then? And what are they going to be doing with their lives? What's your name? Omar? I'm Orlando. Give me a high five.